Hello and welcome to this new EasyRed2 Modding SDK tutorial. Today we're gonna learn how to create your custom headgear or helmet for your custom mods. We're gonna use the asset we have in examples headgear to do this, just because we have already some useful models here. So let's go in the model folder. And let's notice that we have two models here, the LOD and the high poly of our helmet. Of course, here you want to take the model of your own helmet, but we are going to use these models here for this tutorial. So let's right click on the first one and let's choose either the two mods, closing, headgear. As you can see, our helmet is now in our scene. We can double click it to zoom in. And the first thing we want to check here is the enable head placement checker. So we can see how our helmet is orientated and positioned compared to the actual final position in the head that it's gonna take when in game. So as you can see, this is very misplaced and is rotated by 90 degrees. Before doing any adjustments, we might also want to add to our scene our LOD version of our helmet. We can put it inside the headgear template. As the high poly and the low poly LOD models has the same origins and the same scale, they will appear to be one on top of another. If it's not your case, make sure they are. We can then grab both of them and rotate them correctly. In this case, it's a perfect 90 degrees rotation. And we can move them a little bit down to fit the head of our character. We can also scale them if needed, but in this case, the scale is almost correct. So now we can go back in the root of our headgear template. We can start by assigning the LOD group here. So let's move the first high poly model in the LOD 0, the second one in the LOD 1, and let's remove the LOD 2, because we don't have another LOD level. Let's adjust the final LOD render distance to 1 or 2% as always and the LOD 1 to a distance that fits the limit of rendering our high poly and started rendering our low poly. This looks a good distance. Next, we might want to check the box collider of our helmet. This is both the collider that the helmet will take when falling on the ground and when being hit, so try to make a good value as much as you can. You can also use different kind of colliders here, for example I might want to use a box collider on the lower part of this helmet, and a sphere collider for the top part. Unfortunately it's not possible to use other kind of colliders such as the mesh colliders for objects like this. Mesh colliders are only good if you're gonna make static objects like buildings and props. So we have to try to make this scale as much as possible with some basic colliders. Also don't worry too much if your collider goes inside the head a little bit like this because the collider of the head will anyway be hit before hitting the helmet, so you don't expect bullet to hit this part inside the helmet when shooting with a bullet here, because the face collider will anyway stop the bullet first and will receive the damage before hitting that part anyway. So now we got a collider that sort of resembles our helmet, and we can go on with the configurations. We can set an icon for our helmet. For example, we have the helmet sample icon here. We can set some penetration protection values and some other values of protection like fire and sliver. We can set a camo index for our helmet and the impact effect when hitting the helmet, in our case metal. We can set the mass as always. And now that we are done, we can go to the prefab folder and save our helmet prefab. Now that we have our helmet prefab ready, we can add it to our asset bundle. For example, I will add it to easier to items. And now 
we can go to mod compiler select the mod we just created or just assign to our helmet for example easier to items which is a test mod i am creating for this helmet test we can set the title of our mod the description some change logs we have to accept the end user license agreement we can check what's inside our bundle so we got the headgear we just created and an older headgear i created previously today and finally we can set the visibility and start the upload of our mod once the mod is uploaded to the workshop you can check it in the mission editor when creating custom squads or in the shooting range with the clothing selector so this is all for this tutorial congratulations for creating your first headgear mod and see you in the next tutorial